Good day students, today I want to solve problem on resultant force under electrical charges. Now you know that uh, unlike charges attract, unlike charges repel. So you can see that the charge Q1 and Q2 attract together, charge Q1 and Q3 also attract together. Now you can say the force, the force of attraction between Q1 equals plus 10 coulomb and Q2 equals minus 20 coulomb. Okay, because um, Unlike charges, unlike charges attract. The force is K Q one Q two over R squared. The distance here, your R, your R equals three meters. Okay. And uh, your k, let's introduce it, is 1 over 4 pi e naught times q1 q2, q1 q2 over r squared. This one, a whole of it, is given to us 9 times 10 to the power 9, the charge 1, q1, times 10 times 20. You will not be because of the negative, because, you know, because of the sign, but it's just telling you that. They are opposite charges divided by 3 squared. Now, since you have this to be standard units, Newton, meter, and coulomb, if you are giving distance here in centimeter, you convert it to meter by dividing by 100. Okay? Now, F equals when you multiply the numerator, okay, you can cancel, just cancel it out. This one cancel here is 3 squared, which is 9. 9 divided by 9 it cancel out you have um f1 to be equal to you multiply you have 200 times 10 to the power 9 you shift it to 2 times 10 to the power 2 times 10 to the power 9 indices okay 1 2 now it becomes 2 times 10 to the power 2 times the indices. The location of the indices is plus at the index, which is 2 times 10 to the power 11 Newton. That is the force, let's call it F1. Force F1. Okay? Let's see force of attraction. Force of attraction between what is the charges charges q1 equals plus 10 coulomb and charge q3 equals minus 16 coulomb unlike charges charges attract Okay, now let's call that one F2 equals KQ1 Q3 over R over R squared. And uh, what's our K? It's given to us as 1 over 4 pi E naught uh, Q1 Q2 over R squared. Give it as 9 times 10 to the power. 9 times the first charge 10 times second one 16 divided by distance that's 2 squared f2 this 4 9 times 10 to the power 9 times 10 times 16 divided by 4 now let's do some cancellation 2 here 2, no, let's say 4 here 1, 4 here 4. 
okay which is 9 times 40 that's 360 that's 40 times 9 9 times 0 that's 6 360 times 10 is power 9 shift 1 2 shift 2 times which is f2 equals 3.6 times 10 is power 2 times 10 is power 9 which is 3.6 times 10 is power 11 nitty okay this is our f2 now what we need to do now is that we try to get resultant vector f1 the first one goes thus is f1 equals 2 times 10 is power 11 meeting f2 f2 is 3 3.6 times 10 to the power 11 18 is the resultant we have to do for the find the resultant force let's call it f okay this theta the this uh, to this angle let's f1 is this side this this line is in the this line why f2 is this we are taking opposite to this side is opposite and this adjacent okay this line is adjacent is opposite now we use so katua so ka tua and we can use of tan because we have having opposite and adjacent tan theta tan theta equals opposite over adjacent what is the uh, before we get the angle let's get the resultant net force let's get the net force the net force net force f equals the square it, square of the net force equal the square using Pythagoras theorem using Pythagoras theorem the longest side square of the net force cos net force equals f1 squared plus f2 squared the longest this f f1 square plus f1 square plus what uh f2 this is our f2 f2 squared now f now equals square root of f1 square plus f2 squared we now have f to be equal to what the f1 f1 is put in bracket 2 times 10 to the power 11 squared plus f2 3.6 times 10 to the power 11 squared press your calculator let's just get the answer what we do is we press the calculator when you put it inside the square root square it plus put this one inside bracket and square it when you get the value you have 4.12 times 10 is power 11 newton now to get the direction we use tan tan theta equals opposite over adjacent what's the opposite opposite is the value we got here 2 times 10 is power 11 over 3.6 times 10 is power 11 when you press the calculator of 0 
okay now theta now equals tan inverse of 0 0.555 you get the value to be 32.28 degree okay therefore the net force is 4.12 times 10 to the power 11 newton is that okay in at the angle at angle 32.28 degree okay towards f2 okay the line line joining the line joining plus 10 column and minus 16 column okay plus 10 column plus 10 column and minus 16 column this is the end of our class please subscribe to my channel so that I can have access to the latest video. Have a wonderful day.